coronavirus now declared a national emergency. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have just confirmed the first case of human to human transmission here in the United States. There will be an impact on the sports world sooner or later and probably much, much sooner. The NBA suspended its season. Today was to have been opening uh, day for Major League Baseball when countless sporting events either postponed or canceled because of the virus. I think there are teams right now discussing whether or not to shut their training facilities. I'm going to be doing an executive order today uh, directing all Floridians to limit movements and personal interactions outside the home. Social distancing appears to be slowing the spread of the virus. Experts call it flattening the curve. We're waiting to hear from the NFL on the NFL draft, which has discussed various options. If the draft is going forward. It doesn't matter what we or anyone else say. The draft is happening for a variety of reasons. We want to keep on schedule as best we can, doing it safely for all our participants, including the draft eligible players who will be joining in virtually. And all of that's going to be something I think will hopefully uh, inspire our country. We still have a bright future, and this is a chance for all of us to, to help ensure that. What do you think about coming and playing some tight end for us? I love that. That was yeah. a dream come true. Jay Lyons, go! This is Boudreaux. We've got him when we were at the New Orleans Saints after I left the Jets. And we got his name from the mascot, my children. We used to take them to the Zephyrs game, which is a, a farm league team in New Orleans. And their mascot was named Boudreaux. And Boudreaux comes from a kennel in Louisiana. He's a Labradoodle. And that's how he got his name. And we've had him since I was in New Orleans. He's getting old now, but he's the best dog in the world, aren't you, buddy? And then this one we've gotten because we moved so much. We promised the kids that we'd get another dog to try to lighten the load of the move. And we named him the Big Easy, and we just call him Easy. And he barks a lot and is not as friendly. On this side is most of the football books, you know, that I have, so... Good offensive lineman, Jerry Kramer. You know, I have, have him. Obviously, the Vince Lombardi books. One of these two pieces are probably the centerpiece. This is a, a, a signed Babe Ruth bat. Um, it's a Leroy Neiman, obviously a football painting. Uh, Babe Ruth signed baseball, which is probably the, the holy grail of, of, of all the, the collections. It's not like I live a, a crazy life or you know, I've got a million things to do. I really don't have much to do except work and be at home. It's a challenge because of the human nature part of it, where you're in a building together and, you know, you're just walking around. But, you know, as far as the texting and the video conferencing and, um, you know, everything is, right here, everything is right here. So everything that's on my computer, okay, at my office is right in here. I think by the time it's all said and done, everybody's going to be required to be at home for the draft. The coaches at home, the GMs at home, everyone at home. There's a lot of elbow grease they're going to have to put in to make this work and make it mesh. Our IT people are setting up our uh, remote uh, draft room tomorrow. You know, this is the most draft capital we've had here, and and uh, we need to hit on all 12, and that's our and that's our philosophy. And we want to make every one of them count. And if, if we can use one of those to go maybe trade up and get a guy that we want in a select round, we'll do that too. And, um, and you never know, we may, we may acquire some more uh, throughout the draft. Dave Caldwell is open for business, make no mistake, with picks 9 and 20 and with 7 picks in those first four rounds, he has the ability to go up and make a splash. The cornerback position at some point in this draft has to be addressed. You know, not only to find quality players to play, but also they need just depth at the position. They don't have enough corners on their football team in general right now. We look at it and say they're rebuilding, but their owner may say, I don't care. I have high expectations for this season.
draft night tonight, rumors everywhere. Every time you turn around, Adam Schefter just reported that Dave Caldwell called the Lions about the third pick. They have 9-20 and 20 as we sit here today. Two big moments in round one, and then you go to Friday, you go to Saturday, and the next thing you know, you may have a dozen picks or more uh, that are going to be Jacksonville Jaguars. Welcome to the 2020 NFL Draft, and thank you for taking the time to be with us. Like millions of fans, team personnel, and prospects, I join you from my home for the first virtual NFL draft. It's now my honor to announce that the first ever virtual NFL draft is officially open. With the ninth pick in the 2020 NFL draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars select C.J. Henderson, defensive back, Florida. How's it feel staying home in the state of Florida? Feels great. Well, I'll tell you what, I think that might be the best pick the Jags have made in a long, long, long time. So I know they're going to be thrilled, and everybody in Florida is excited to have you at home. Hey, we're excited yeah. about you coming in. We're looking for great things out of you. With the 20th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, we're going to make this pick here, and we're going to make you a Jaguar. How do you feel about that? Feel great. Feel great. The Jacksonville Jaguars select Clavon Chason. Do that. We feel that you can be a dominant force. Really believe that. And that's why that's why we picked you. That's why we want you to come in here. We want that attitude, those practice habits. Get fired up, man. Yes, sir. Get fired yes, sir. up. Duval! The Jacksonville Jaguars select LaVisca Chenault. Well, I'm not stopping right now. I'm just going to keep on leveling up. Devon Hamilton. I appreciate you for giving me the opportunity. Well, you earned it. So let's continue there, right? Yes, sir. We're excited about you. I mean, you, you're everything that we, we like. Tough, you know, doing all those things. John Weiss. It's the Smoothie King, Ben Barch. Josiah Scott, a cornerback out of Michigan State. Bring that energy you play on a daily basis, right? Who we got? Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Shaquille Quarterman going to Jacksonville. Oh. Daniel Thomas, the safety out of Auburn. White out Colin Johnson. Yeah! Jake Luton, Oregon State quarterback. Congratulations. I know it was a little bit of a wait, but hey, I'm really happy for you. We're real excited about you. Hello? Tyler there. Yes, sir. Tyler, Dave Caldwell, General Manager of Jacksonville Jaguars. How you doing? Doing good. How are you? I am not too bad. What do you think about coming and playing some tight end for us? I love that. That was yeah. a dream come true. <laughs> well, you're going to get drafted, man. You, 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 you. Thank you so much. Oh, no, These guys are talented. These guys can play. They're strong-minded men that we feel that, that are influenced in the proper way, and uh, we want to keep it going that way. Hello? Shaq there. Yes, sir. Shaq, Dave Caldwell with the Jacksonville Jaguars. How are you doing, Coach? Have you heard of this team? Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I have. Know you, I know you heard of it because you, you're right around the corner, right? Yes, sir. Down the street. Born and raised Jacksonville? Born and raised. Be a great little story, huh? Getting drafted by the Jacksonville Jaguars in the fourth round. That sounds like a dream come true. All right. We're going to make that dream come true for you. I, I greatly appreciate that. I can't wait to get to work. Once draft day hit, or well, my draft day um, we enjoyed it for that night, the next night. But after that, my cleats was on the ground, you know, especially being hey. home. <laughs> OPAA, man. Don't, don't another part one apart got better cheese sticks than we do. Right there with that bend on it, with my name, the first name, that's where we got the cheese sticks from. Pickled eggs, pickled sausage, $1.50, man. Everything. Definitely a sense of nostalgia. You know, I caught my first interception right here. Um, got tackled with it right there. <laughs> Scored my first touchdowns all over this park, so it means a lot. And 
it's few things that could really parallel coming out the smoke at the University of Miami, but I definitely think running out that tunnel as a Jacksonville Jaguar in front of my family, friends, and my city would probably stand a great chance to top that. Very small group that actually accomplished what you just did. Mm -hmm. God willing, it was what's going on. Y'all gonna get on the field, and I'm sure you'll make everybody proud. Yes, sir. Uh, Yes, sir, uh, because you're going to get me out here, man. I'm going to go run on these ladders and stuff. God. Woo! It's time to get busy, you know, especially in my position. You know, I can't afford to waste none. So I'm more about, you know, getting to it. Our greatest challenge right now is not installing. Our greatest challenge is not learning an offense, defense, or special team. Our greatest challenge is not being on our own, you know, making sure that we're working out. Our greatest challenge is creating a chemistry among us. You know, for us to be the youngest team and to build this foundation of, of, of players that are willing to lay it on the line for each other. And that's the most important thing. I think last year we had a pretty good foundation of young players that really for the most part have have listened you know, to a lot of these things and even the class before that. But I'm gonna sit here and tell you that I'm gonna put a lot of pressure on the guys in this class right here. A lot of you that are sitting there right now are gonna be able to help us, they're gonna be able to put us in a position where we wanna be to win a lot of football games. You know, you're gonna feel a little bit of that from me and you'll probably feel a little bit of that of your coaches. You know, accept that challenge. You know, the one thing, the reason why you guys are all here is because Deep down inside, somewhere along the line, there's a, competitive, a competitiveness about us, and we love to be challenged. If you're a true athlete, you want to be challenged. And, and I can promise you that's going to be the case. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. Oh, my God, man. I loved you guys the whole time when I was talking to Jason when he came to uh, oh, yeah. Pro Day, well, and, and I know you came to the NC State game. Yep, I saw, uh, you, I saw you at the NC State game, and uh, I feel like I was like, why are they not getting this guy the ball more? The guy runs a four six five. He's big. He's strong. Yeah. yeah. And guess what? And guess what? Both our head coach and myself are from New York too. So. <laughs> I don't know all that man. I can't. Now this is this is the only question: Are you a Yankee or Mets fan? I'm a Mets fan. Oh. <laughs> well, we might, we might, we might not be able to do this now. No, come on. <laughs> I'll, change, I'll change that right now. <laughs> All right, you're Yankee fan uh, now.